Hi everyone, uh, welcome to this new video. And a few weeks back, we made a video on one of the golden indicators where I showed you uh, how we can take the critical decisions related to long-term investing by timing the market better. And we introduced an indicator related to percentage of companies making uh, you know, above and uh, below 200 day moving average. So a lot of you asked the question, how to create it? So in this video, let me show you how to create these kind of indicators. And through this, let me introduce you to a tool called Chart Inc. So many of you in technical analysis might be aware about TradingView. In fact, we made a 30 minute video about how to use TradingView. But Chart Inc is one of the most underappreciated, but very, very strong tool. And many of you know that uh, I also do a lot of quantitative investing and algorithm building. So for somebody who is not exposed to the coding world uh, using programming languages like Python, Chart Inc is one of the best tools to uh, build some kind of quantitative scanners in the simplest way. So let us go through and let us see how to use Chart Inc to build this particular indicator. So go to this website chartinc.com and then create a login ID and password. So I have already logged in, but you will create a login ID and password so that you can access Chart Inc. And then you need to go to this dashboard section. And once you go to the dashboard section, you will see this option, create a new screener. And once you start building multiple screeners, like in uh, screener.in, you create fundamental screeners. In charting, you can create fundamental as well as technical screeners. So as you go, you can see, create a new screener and the more screeners you create, you will have a list of your own screeners. So click on this button, create a new screener. Once you click on create a new screener, you will see, you will get this kind of window. Basically, it's a intuitive way of building scanners to filter companies which show some specific features. And you can see there are certain things which are so uh, we may need a totally different uh, session on charting. It's a very, very vast tool and it's not possible to capture everything in one go. In fact, uh, we did almost a eight hour webinar on charting covering all the features. So the way to work on chart skinner chart charting is you can see you have the statement and there is something in bold. These bold are the way to play it. So stock passes all. And if you click here, you will have two options passes and fails. So let's continue with passes all of below filters in cash. So you have multiple options, cash, bank, nifty. So we want to create a scanner for identifying companies which are below their 200 day moving average or below their 40 week moving average in nifty 500. So I will select nifty 500 and then go to plus and type close because we want to see where the close price is below the 40 week moving average price. When you give close, now automatically latest gets added. Now this close has to be lesser than and then 40 week exponential moving average price. So I will search for exponential moving average where the code is EMA. And in EMA, I want 40 week closing EMA price. So I'll give here 40. And I need all of this on a weekly basis because I need for 200 days, which is 40 weeks. So instead of daily i will use weekly and here also i will convert this into weekly and weekly so now your weekly close is less than weekly 40 week closing price ema and when you run it you will get a list of companies out of nifty 500 which are below their 40 week ema and even right now you have almost 260 more than 50 percent of the stocks are below their 40 week or 200 day weekly moving average. Now you need to save the scanner. So click on save and just write, uh, let's say golden scanner. So let's say we name it golden scanner. And if you have a paid version, you can make it private. If you're not a paid version, you can leave it like that. And now when you come down, you can see it's showing you three years of data. So see, I have a paid version. So that is why I can have a longer access to data. If you don't have a paid version, you will have only a nine month access to data. So you can explore the pricing. There is a monthly pricing. If you're interested, you can explore. And I don't have any commercial interest in these tools. But let me show you a 10 year of data. So on a 10 year basis, it tells you what count of companies were below their 40 week or 200 day moving average. Now, if you see whenever this uh, indicator created its peak, Feb 2016, which was Brexit time, 
we had almost 300 companies below their uh, 200 day moving average, which is almost 60% companies. Then came your October 2018, which was ILFS crisis, almost 350, which means almost 70% companies were below 200 day or 40 day week moving average. Then came your August 2019, when again almost 60 5% companies went there uh, below 200 day or 20, 40 week moving average. Then this is where you had your COVID when almost 80% of the companies went below. And this was the second last correction in June 2022, when again you had almost 80% companies below 40 week moving average. And last when I met this video, last video in March telling it looks like a good time to accumulate. Again, we had almost 70% companies below their 40 week moving average. So one, two, three, four, five, six in last um, eight years, we got six good opportunities to accumulate. So this is how very simply you build this indicator. I know I showed you a percentage indicator, but that is little, little complicated. I will show you in the next video, uh, but simply if in two lines, you want to create this indicator. This is a simple one line formula in next video. Again, I will teach you how to build that percentage indicator, but from here also you can use this indicator. And then if you go and if you look at the CNX, so I hope this particular indicator building was useful, but the chart ink is not restricted to this. I mean, this indicator is not even 0.1% of what all charting can do. And it's very difficult to capture everything, uh, you know, in small period of time. So in fact, we have done in last two years, we have done two webinars on charting. They are almost, uh, you know, 10 hour plus uh, webinars of content on charting where we walk through all the features. It is there on our website, learn.scientificinvesting.in. Uh, you can go through that charting webinar course and you can buy and you can learn more about charting. But coming back to this particular indicator, so now we know what percentage of companies historically were below 40 week moving average. Also, if we look at the CNX 500 chart right from 2014, so this is the post 2014 chart. You can see whenever the bottoms were created. So this is the February 2016. This is October 2018. This is August 19. This is March 20, this is June 22, and this is February, March 23. You can see that whatever times we had more than 60 to 70% of companies below their 40 week moving average, they were the times when this index made its low. So you can see that uh, we have identified a way by which we could identify all the possible big long-term corrections and then one can use these opportunities to, uh, you know, do lump sum kind of investing. Still, uh, nobody will know that if that is the perfect bottom or not, but still it helps us to do much more better than uh, putting lump sum money in markets, which are highly overvalued or so I hope this video is useful. And uh, now you know how to build these kind of scanners. Uh, the other chart, which I showed you, which was a line chart of percentage of companies that is built through atlas dashboard which is another feature in charting so this was scanner and uh, there is one more feature called atlas uh, dashboard so do let me know if you want to learn how to build atlas dashboard but do check our charting uh, course also we have totally revamped our website so you can go to our website learn.scientificinvesting.in and you can look through all the offerings we have uh, also, we have created a small video, 25 minute video, which walks through all our website, all the courses, practitioner, Quantic Learn, you know, Fun Tech, practitioner membership. If you want to know more about it, uh, the videos links are there in the description. You can check that. Further, this Sunday, we will be uh, hosting second session of our IT webinar. So we already had the first super session, which lasted for three hours uh, that we did two weeks back where we studied the sector, we studied some of the interesting companies. And again, we are going to have the second session of the same webinar and we will have third session. So again, if you want to access, you can go through our website and look through the IT webinar course. I will see you in the next video soon. Thank you.